All right, guys, so for today's video, we're going to talk about feeding the American bully. We're going to go over a couple different type of meats you can feed them, different fruits and veggies, and even some things that you shouldn't feed them. So before we get into the different types of foods, I do want to give you all one disclaimer. If you are feeding your dogs raw, you're going to want to deworm them at least once a month. All right, now let's get into it. So for the first type of meat, we have ground beef. Now, this can be any ratio of lean to fat percentages as long as you don't go over 20% fat. The reason being is because these dogs are already notorious for being big boned and real heavy. Now, if you go over that 20% fat and you're feeding them too much, you're going to run into a lot of overweight problems. And that's something you do not want with this breed. They already have health issues when it comes to skin, elbows, and hips. And if you start adding on extra weight that's not natural, it's going to be a big problem. And too much protein is very bad for the skin of these dogs. They'll start losing hair or even start getting dandruff. The second meat we're going to get into is basically any part of the chicken. The thighs, drums, the quarters, or even chicken feet. This is a great way to incorporate bone into your dog's diet. Now back to the chicken feet. They're very, very high in glucosamine. And what glucosamine is good for is strengthening the bones and the joints of these dogs. And if you remember, like I said earlier, these dogs are already notorious for having bad hips and bad elbows. Now the next meat we'll get into is organ meats. Now it's gonna be chicken livers, chicken hearts, beef livers. And what it's good for is it helps maintain a shiny, healthy coat a healthy strong heart and it also lets you add important nutrients like iron to your dog's diet now almost any fruit or vegetable could be used so i'll just talk about some of the ones that i find most beneficial starting with mushrooms now i like to use mushrooms as a natural antioxidant and they're also key in supporting liver and kidney functions next we have carrots and along with them being high in fiber I like to use them to keep the dog's teeth clean and healthy. And we're going to go over something else that I like to use carrots for later on in this video. So stay tuned. It's going to be very, very helpful. Next, we have green beans. And these guys are packed with nutrients and vitamins such as iron, vitamin B6, vitamin A, just to name a couple. Now, moving on to fruits, we have apples, which is packed with vitamin A, C, as well as antioxidants and fiber. And fiber is key in helping keeping a healthy digestive system for these dogs. Next, we have bananas, which I don't usually use all the time, but I like to use them as a treat or whenever one of my dogs has an upset stomach as they are very high in fiber and potassium. Now, here's some free game. If you are feeding your dogs like this, you have to know their digestive systems are nowhere near like ours. They're way faster, meaning there's no way for them to be able to take in all these nutrients without sprinkling some organic ground cinnamon to keep their blood sugar levels low and at a stable pace so that way their body can focus on taking in these nutrients instead of keeping the blood sugar levels low. That organic cinnamon is going to do just that. Now let's get back to that hidden gem with the carrots. Now what the carrots are good for is when you combine them with pumpkin seeds, they actually come together and form a natural dewormer. And this is especially helpful whenever you have pregnant dogs as you're not supposed to use any type of dewormer early on into the pregnancy. Now why they form that natural dewormer is they both have a certain compound. Carrots have beta quarantine and pumpkin seeds have a compound called cucubertin. And when they come together, they flush out any parasites or worms that can infest your dog. Now, as for foods that your dog should not eat, I won't talk about the obvious like chocolate, alcohol, or bread, but cooked chicken bones. Not raw. Raw bones are fine, but cooked chicken bones can splinter and severely injure the dog's throat or intestines. Now let's get into dog foods, because no matter how good you feed these dogs, you're going to want to mix it with kibble because there's still things that they get from the kibble that they will not get from the food that you're going to feed them. So first, I like to use diamond puppy food, this bag exactly, for my puppies and pregnant females. Now for adults, you do not want to use a high protein dog food 
because they're already getting plenty of protein in the raw diet that you're going to feed them. So I like to use Purina Pro Plan for my adult dogs. And I know a lot of people swear by Victor because it's expensive and this and that. But I, myself, have never used Victor because I've heard so many bad stories about them. Now, I want to thank everybody for actually taking the time to look at this video and showing that you care about your dogs, as well as like and subscribe to support the channel so y'all can keep getting gems like this. Also, go follow us on Instagram at WhatabullyKennels, W-T-A-B-U-L-L-Y Kennels, to stay updated with any litters that we have coming up. We do have two litters coming up within the next week. Y'all are not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. Y'all have a blessed day.